This is the Gideon Manual Meat Grinder. I'll go ahead and walk you through the parts that come with it. Uh, that's where you would put your meat. You have your handle. That's the feed screw that's going to pull the meat into the cutting head. You have your cutting blade, as well as two different size cutting plates, depending on how coarse or fine you want the ground. Um, you also have the cap that holds everything on there securely, as well as this pusher tool you would use to continue to feed the meat or vegetables or whatever you're grinding um, closer into the feeding screw. Okay, so assembly is really quite simple, uh, whether it's initial setup or after you've taken everything apart to clean it. Um, you will take your feeding screw that snaps securely in there, and you want to make sure you have your cutting blade installed on there. I've chosen the larger cutting plate. I'm not sure if you can see it has these little ridges here. You'll want to line them up with the little ridges in that area and then simply sorry, line them up and secure your cap. Then the handle fits right on there. Make sure it's nice and snug. You do turn it in a clockwise direction in order to feed the meat or whatever it is you're grinding towards the cutting head. Okay, another neat feature I'll go ahead and walk you through is the section on the bottom. As you can see, it has a nice um, rubberized gripping surface there. If you put it on a flat, clean surface and move this lever all the way into the locked position, that's now very secure and I can't move it off of there. So it is very firmly stuck to the countertop. Okay, so I've filled this with some small chunks of beef. I will, I have already secured it firmly to the surface. I can't move it because it's sectioned on there really well. Here's the pusher tool that I'll use. Kind of tamp that down. And I'm going to crank this in a clockwise direction in order to get the meat to be cut and ground.